Things are changing quick. Yeah. So we got something. We did a thing. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubt. Be free with me. Yeah. So much for the dually. But it sure is pretty. Got ourselves a toad. Yeah, we uh, decided to go in a different direction. I know, I hardly had the, the dually, but I'm getting another dually, a differenter dually. Differenter dually? Differenter dually. Much bigger dually. Yeah. So we got this and uh, got all kinds of new stuff to put on it. Yeah, so uh, this is actually a 2016 Jeep Wrangler Sport. Yeah, it's a Sport S with the soft top so we can take the doors off roof which, off which we've done and it was a lot of fun so i am actually pretty pleased with uh, this decision this jeep has been really fun it has been and we've only had it well we've had it three or four months now yeah about four months probably so. i mean i bought it with fifty-five thousand miles on it for 20 yeah, 21 thousand not bad. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> it's a whole lot cheaper than the dually was. Yeah. But the new dually is going to be way more expensive. But. Oh. oh boy, can't yeah, wait for that. I know. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? Get this thing ready to tow, or to be towed, to I should say. Towed. To be the towed. Gotcha. <laughs> like a rocket. I got a wiring kit so we can use the taillights of the Jeep as, you know, the taillights. I have a feeling that we're going to have an issue with this. We'll talk about that when we get there. Anyway, this is the tow bar I bought. This is a Roadmaster Nighthawk. It's got LEDs in it. It's got the power cable. It's got the safety cables. And it's rated for 8,000 pounds, so it's plenty. We I mean, could probably actually tow Lynn Silverado with it. Ooh, options. <laughs> Gotta have options. This is the base plate for the Jeep. So this gets mounted up under the front bumper. Okay. That's what the tow bar attaches to. So this, today's project is doing all this. This is also from Roadmaster. I didn't pick Roadmaster for any particular reason. I just didn't want the most expensive and I didn't want the cheapest. This was in the middle, so that's what I bought. It always seemed to work for us in the past, so. This is a Blue Ox Patriot 2. So this is a braking system in the Jeep. I didn't have any Again, particular reason to buy one brand over the other. This was just the simplest to install from what I could tell. It's kind of a pain you're going to have to put it in every time you want to tow. But I didn't want something that was super invasive to install because I tend to not keep things very long. Mm, you don't say. I mean, this thing is light. It's super light and it just pushes on the brake pedal when you want to stop. I'm probably going to have it set very, very low. I really just wanted it to uh, be legal because you have to have one. Right. So, so this actually has a little monitor that goes inside the, the, the vehicle you're using to tow with. And you can control the Patriot too with it. You can turn up or down like the gain on it and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Look at this mess now. <laughs> All in my garage, I might add. Yeah, where's your truck at? Yeah. So, come downstairs. Mike's got his Jeep in here. My poor old truck is outside. Ugh. It's not used to that kind of treatment.
Well, sort of. The uh, base plate for the tow bar is done. It took about 45 minutes. Really was not bad. Once we found the Loctite? <laughs> yeah, once I was able to find the Loctite. <laughs> I'm going to do this uh, wiring kit for the lights and then set up the, the brake system. Maybe go for a test tow. We'll see. We have lights. Yay. However, we have a problem. You can see the turn signals on on the lens truck and on the Jeep. But the way that this braking system works is that when you're slowing down, it pushes on the brake. So when I push on the brake, we lose our turn signal on the Jeep. So even though you're turning or slowing down, you're losing the turn signal. So I have to come up with a way to disconnect the brake light switch on the brake pedal. Uh, I'm just gonna use a relay to do that. These kits are commercially available for like 45 bucks, but I bought the relay for, I think $8, eight, nine bucks. Yeah. So I'm gonna get that wired up. I got the relay wired up. So the way that this works is, got 12 volts coming in this side, and then the ground connection on this side. So this acts as a on-off switch for your brake lights. I ran the 12 volt feed over to the fuse box. So there's only 12 volts supplied when the ignition is on. So right now, if I push the brake pedal, there will be no brake lights. The other two wires, I cut the wire from the brake light switch and uh, just spliced them in. So when the key is on, and this is energized with 12 volts, you will have brake lights. I guess that's the easiest way to put it. All right, the key is off. I'm stepping on the brakes. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Key is on. Stepping on the brakes. All three. Tail lights are on. Left turn signal's on. Tail lights and left signal should be working on the Jeep. The key is off. So I'm going to step on the brake pedal. It's still blinking. Still working? Still blinking. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, so now we can take it for a test ride and see how it does. Luckily, the Jeep, the, the steering wheel doesn't lock, even with the key off and the key out of the ignition. The steering doesn't lock, so we don't have to worry about that. Got the Patriot 2 in. Here's the cable from the breakaway switch. Plug that in. The 12 volt plug is plugged into the, in the center console. What I did, because you know, the key is gonna be off and it's gonna be pulling power from the Jeep's battery. So I went one extra step. This is a seven way plug and it goes to a, a six pin plug. The lighting kit was a four pin flat and I cut the end off. I used that six pin and then I added a 12 volt charge wire from the plug over to the battery. So it should charge the battery as we drive. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So I got to put the transfer case in neutral. And then transmission and gear break off. So this is ready to roll. Power on, hit setup. I'm not really super impressed with those things, but. Okay, the seat is touching, but it's kind of like sits funny, but I don't know. We'll try it and see what it does. Yeah. I gotta close the roof. I opened the roof so I had more light working in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and close this before we take off. Since it's been raining all day. Yeah. This is the uh, little monitor that comes with it so you can change the sensitivity and the force and everything. I turned the force down to three just to, as a starting point and just to see how it feels. 
It does have a backlight, but I don't know if you can really tell it's not dark yeah, enough. Yeah, can't tell. I did pull out of the garage and I stepped on the brake kind of hard to see what it would do and up at the top it did say it was braking so it let me know that it was actually braking. And we're gonna go for a ride. Yeah, we've never towed a Jeep before so this is kind of unique. <laughs> Hope everything goes well. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Looks really weird to say the least. Yeah, it is kind of weird. How's it towing? Like, I mean, your truck doesn't even notice. Yeah, I was gonna mean, say it shouldn't notice it's there. The Jeep's like 4,000 pounds. <laughs> Saw the straight and arrow. Coming up to a stoplight, so we're gonna see you know, if this shows that it's braking like it's supposed to. So I'm on the brakes. Yep, brake active. Left the brake and it went out. Yeah. And you know, it didn't feel like we were being pushed at all. I mean, I was just barely on the brake. And the exhaust brake is off because I wanted to just feel this. And on the brake, brake active. Yeah, works. Sliding a little. Does it feel like it's giving you enough brake? Yeah, it does. It, I don't feel like we're being pushed at all. And I mean, I turned that force down to three, so I don't see any reason to turn it up any higher. I even turned down the sensitivity on it before we left because it was set at like some ridiculous number, I don't know. Yeah. I feel it like pulling me a little bit. tongue weight it's four right. four wheels on the ground it's so the truck rides like it's unloaded but you can feel some like some side to side pull yeah like when you were in that turn getting on the interstate made it back in one piece yeah that's a plus i like it yeah it i mean my truck didn't know it was there we looked in the mirrors and i mean as a passenger i felt nothing yeah, it, like I said, it was just, it was weird because it wasn't like towing a, a trailer that we used to. Because when you go to turn, you can feel some side to side force, but you, there's no tongue weight. Right. But yeah, I mean, other than that, it was great. Good. And you know what? My truck looked good doing it. <laughs> Your truck is filthy. That is filthy. Why don't you wash it for me? No. supposed to just kind of like fold up and away. Oh, oh yeah. they really did just snap up there. Okay. And then these, these come out. Now the Jeep has got a normal front end and the motor home or whatever. My truck would have that just sitting on it <laughs> yeah and there was a, a plastic rock guard under there that I didn't put back on because you have to like cut it because of the base plate I don't know if I feel like doing that yeah you can't really tell yeah I, I think I'll just leave it the way it is for now we're scheduled tomorrow morning to go and do a thing so stay tuned to see what we come home with <laughs> Yeah.